Peter Chalmers Mitchell. Sir Peter Chalmers Mitchell, 23 November 1864 to July 1945, was a Scottish zoologist who was secretary of the Zoological Society of London from 1903 to 1935. During this time, he directed the policy of the Zoological Gardens of London and created the world's first open zoological park, CSL Whitsnade Zoo. Early Life Peter Chalmers Mitchell was the son of the Reverend Alexander Mitchell, a Presbyterian minister in Dunfermline, Scotland, and Marion Chalmers. Mitchell gained an MA at the University of Aberdeen and moved to Christ Church, Oxford, where he read for natural science, specializing in zoology. After success in the honors examination of 1888, he was appointed university demonstrator in zoology. In 1896, he was the anonymous author of an article in the Saturday Review entitled A Biological View of English Foreign Policy, which proposed the inevitability of a final battle between Britain and Germany, in which one would have to be destroyed. Having acknowledged his authorship during World War I, he still declared himself unrepentant about it in a letter to the Times in May 1939, describing the article as prophetic. In April 1916, now an army captain, he was made responsible for setting up a specialist department in Eisman before to oversee the production of military propaganda to be dropped from the air over enemy lines. Su Wu Wu Despite a tenure of 32 years, Mitchell was not the longest serving secretary of the Zoological Society. His predecessor, Philip Lutley Sclater, had been in office over 40 years, from 1860 to 1902. Mitchell was succeeded by Julian Huxley. Mitchell's brainchild, Whipsnade Park, was opened in 1931 on the Dunstable Downs in the heart of Bedfordshire. Whipsnade is an open-air zoo in the countryside, where animals occupy large enclosures rather than cages. The park is involved in a variety of conservation activities. In 1933, he was one of 11 people involved in the appeal that led to the foundation of the British Trust for Ornithology BTO, an organization for the study of birds in the British Isles. Lectures In 1911, Mitchell delivered the Royal Institution Christmas Lecture on the Childhood of Animals. In February 1915, Mitchell gave three lectures on the subject of evolution and foreign policy at the Royal Institution that expanded upon his 1896 article. These were combined and published in the form of a book entitled Evolution and the War in May 1915. Malago or Malago On retiring from the zoo, Mitchell moved to Malago, staying there during the first six months or so of the Spanish Civil War until the city was taken on behalf of the rebels by Italian troops. An account of his last days in Malago, including his arrest along with Arthur Kosler, is included in Kosler's book Spanish Testament and in his own memoir, My House in Malago, published in 1938. Politics, six, politics, politics, six, politics, politics. Mitchell stood as an independent candidate at the 1938 combined Scottish universities by election but took last position with 13.5% of the votes cast. Death Mitchell died on 2 July 1945, aged 80, after being injured in an accident on 29 June outside the London Zoo. After stepping off a bus, he was struck by a taxicab. A jury ruled the death accidental. Legacy A species of South American worm lizard Amphispina Michelli is named in his honor. He also proved, in a now classic treatise, mainly on the intestinal tract of mammals, that the cecum of mammals is directly homologous with the paired cecum of birds, that is to say, a pair being the original state. Publications As author, 1900. Thomas Henry Huxley, A Sketch of His Life and Work. Putnam's London and N. Y. Second Ed. Methuen, London, 1913. 1911. 
Official Guide to the Gardens of the Zoological Society of London, Zoological Society of London, London, 1912. The Childhood of Animals. Haney Man, Penguin, 1915. Evolution and the War. J. Murray, London, 1930. Materialism and Vitalism in Biology. Oxford, 1931. A Centenary History of the London Zoo, 1937. My Fill of Days. Faber and Faber, London, 1938. My House in Malaga. Faber and Faber, London. Republished 2019. The Clapton Press, London. As Translator. 1903. The Nature of Man Studies in Optimistic Philosophy, by Eli Metchnikoff, G. P. Putnam's Sons, London. The original title in French was Etudes sur la nature humaine, 1903. 1935. Mr. Witt Among the Rebels, The Story of a Reluctant Revolutionist in the Days of Victoria, by Raymond J. Sender, Faber and Faber, London. The original title in Spanish was Mr. Witt and El Canton, 1935, 1936. Seven Red Sundays by Raman J. Sender, Faber and Faber, London. The original title in Spanish was Syat Domingos Rojos, 1932, 1937. The War in Spain, a personal narrative by Raman J. Sender, Faber and Faber, London. The original title in Spanish was Contratec 1937, 1944. The Forge by Arturo Beria, Faber and Faber, London. The original title in Spanish was La Forge 1941. In addition, like Henry Sharon FCS, Chalmers Mitchell made a number of contributions to the 1911 Encyclopedia Britannica under the initials PCM, CM, and CM. A.M. C.M. A.M. C.M. 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 Chalmers Mitchell was critical of Sharon's history of the ZSL, but was in turn criticized by John Bastin for his work on the same subject. 